Good yeah. evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a GameStar presentation. We are back with OG Gaming versus YMCMB in this uh, the quarterfinal, or I guess we can call it semi-final for the Gold Coast Online Tournament for bronze, silvers, and golds only. My name is Cold Blood, and helping me to bring this game two to you is one of the top laners of the tournament, Mendrix. How are you? Good, good. Um, ready for the next game. Hopefully, we um, have a less one-sided game this time around, but I've got all faith in YCMB to pull through something this time around. Right, we'll have to see if they can pull it out. We will have YMC on the left-hand side this time, and OG Gaming, who are one up in the best of three, uh, on the right, and immediately that's a red flag. The least has been picked up once again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, maybe this time uh, YCMB will be a bit more um, vigilant in making sure their red is guarded and hopefully that will stop. But basically, that, that one little move that they did there set them up for the rest of the game, I believe. Yeah, well, they did ban out the Jack, so Beast isn't going to be able to uh, go crazy on that one. Zed was instantly locked in by Nuxi, and then Cassadin was the pickup by Grant Parcerel, and he is the mid laner, so we can assume that one will be going there. So Zed could potentially jungle the top. We'll assume he's going mid, though, as that is where he thrives. And it's actually interesting, because Zed does get crippled fairly heavily by silences, but Cassidy, base armor quite low, and um, is... Oh, well, Talon! Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that. that's a very hard counter to the Cassidy. Just I was expecting Fizz again, to be honest, but um, Talon works quite well against him as well. Okay, well, it looks like Lerm's fan club have changed their tune and will now be egging him on to victory. As we can see, the Soraka was picked up as well by YMC. The Zed, we can assume, is going top for now, which is pretty decent. And Draven gets locked here. in. Oh, I would love to see the Zillion. That would be oh, very troll against Talon it'd be, and Zed. Uh, it'd, be ni it'd be nice. I think they should do it. Zillion's really strong. Honestly. It would be, because that would stop... Um, well, if they're Talon trying to jump in and all in, that's it. Yeah, they, they would, yeah, they're just with us all in this one guy. Sorry, no, that's that's not happening. But never mind. Ah, uh, <sighs> I, I was telling you last game, and now I'm doing it. <laughs> no, no, no. I just want to say, come on, little Vane, we can dream. We uh -huh. can dream. He's gonna next time, little Vane. Next time. Uh, for those who are unaware, we do black out the summoners just while we're out of the loading screen. It um, helps quite a bit to stop the players ghosting. We can see the Leona Draven combo by OG Gaming. That is very, very strong. Lots and lots of damage if they manage to catch someone out. Zillion being considered by YMC for the same reasons would be fairly good. The uh, the they slow do it. on Draven would be good. Jinx will be super, super fast. Again, they've got a really squishy team though. And um, I just realized that we've got a Soraka. So they're going to need either a jungler or a top. With, a with the next level meta, it'd be fine. They could totally run Zillion. This is this, like. Come on, guys. Let's see the swap back. Come on. No, no, no it's not going to happen. But I'll be happy to see the monkey in this game. I think um, that's probably what they really need to stop. Um, oh, never mind. They're going for a ribbon again. Oh, okay. So hopefully it can do better this time by not going against Jax. The uh, the OG gaming guys have left up the last or the top laner unless they want to send Lee Sin top. We'll have to see what they decide to go for. Uh, I personally would like to see like, if they really wanted to shut her down again. If they could just, if they went Garen, that would be pretty much, you know, the the best way to shut Riven down. Um, she she cannot handle him at at all. Yeah, shout out to Ashen Seventeen, who was uh, pointing out that a Clarity Revive strategy would uh, not do too well if the other team knew that it was coming. Uh, and the teams, did they switch sides? I, I think they did. By the looks of things, yeah, they, yes, yeah, yes, they, they, did, have, yeah. Yeah, they do swap. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to swap. So, so Ashen17 making me panic that something's going to miss. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we are good now. So the Jinx Soraka lane, that's a bit of an odd one because Jinx likes to be aggressive and Soraka yeah, likes Garen to sit pick. back. As, oh, Garen would... Oh, that'd, yeah, that'd be quite good. Oh, no, oh, they're going to go back to Rengar. He's thinking about it. What's yeah. he, is he, he's trolling us, is he? It's Rengar. It looks Rango like it's Rengar. Knife Cat. Will yep. be uh, well. I guess Rengar could jungle, but Rengar much better at top, and Lee Sin can do anything because he's Lee Sin. Yeah, that's, his mobility is insane. I must admit. And um, as we all know, Rengar right now he's um pretty much the OGN pick mm. for top right now. So he's our split pushes. And Encino's uh, beast has got Rengar right now, 
It is um, definitely. Oh, you I, calling I would... him Rango like me? <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone's been calling him Rango. Di- Dyrus has got um, his uh, what I think one of his runes set for it is Rango, and his mastery page is Rango when he ever decides to play Rango. Rango knife cat. Say it all, <laughs> or don't say it. <laughs> exactly. You have to stick with your guns. So um, yeah, they've got um, another. See, so we've got Draven by Sona Lisa, and yeah, Leona. That's a very strong all-in comp they've got there. The damage they could put out is insane. Yeah, that's very scary. They, of course, did change Cassidy recently to reward him for using the Rift Walk aggressively instead of just running up to someone, silencing them, slowing them, and then getting the heck out, which is mm. a, a little bit of a... Yeah, so he gets, he gets a half a refund on his um, mm. Rift Walk every time he runs. He, if he gets a hit, that's uh, one of the things he needs to do. If he doesn't get the hit, though, it actually is a detriment to him. A very big detriment. Yeah, is uh, Cassidans like to stack mana. I believe they reduce his base damage on his abilities just a little bit and reduce his silence. Because yes, uh, you, yeah. you shouldn't be able to stack mana and do the amount of damage that Cass can output. Shout out to Alpha Pigeon who is joining Ashen Seventeen in making me question what the heck's going on. He's saying two shens. What the heck? And uh, <laughs> P X U L Y Y definitely going for Y M C M B. Starting up a uh, Justin Bieber cult for them. So, this mid lane, I would expect a lane swap coming out from OG Gaming. You cannot let Cassidy go against Talon. It just, you, it's so much trouble. Well, it all depends on how um, confident Grandpa Cyril, um, Cyril is. If he, if he feels he can uh, outplay Talon, it, he could definitely go um, mid. I've seen um, Cassidy, if they start with Doran Shield, they're able to remain in lane for quite a long time. Mm. It's it's weird against Talon because you'll just be spamming the rake early on. Flask might be yeah. better for Cass. Uh, and Bruce V, of course, does have the lease in once again. We'll have to see the coconuts flying out of him. And, I mean, Rango and Leona are both great to gank for when you're a champion with high damage potential but not that much CC, like a Shivana or something. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, from what I see with um, Rango, they've all been building him fairly tanky right now, mm. and he just becomes... Uh, Pardon the pun, a split-pushing beast. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, they like going Sunfire, Spirit Visage into uh, Trinity Bone Tooth if they start doing well. And yeah. like you say, they, they just love to split-push, and then if they get caught, they can on the hunt out, or if a team fight starts, they just sprint up with on the hunt and jump in and start roaring at things. Yeah, his damage is still pretty. Even even building tanky, he's more. He's got more than enough damage to take out a squishy at the moment. So, um, pretty much his target all the time will be that ADC if a team fight's about to break out. But apart from that, they start maxing out that W. He's he's immovable in lane when he maxes his W. Yeah, it is so difficult to deal with. So we can see that uh, sneaky hookers will be the one on the um. On the is this the is this the ribbon? I think it is. So Lerm will be the one on the ribbon this time. I don't know what I'm doing here. It ruins the masteries. There we go. Um, so Lerm is going to take the ribbon instead of Sneaky Hookers. The uh, Sneaky Hookers is going to have Talon this time. And like we said, they've got a lot of assassination between Talon, Zed, and Riven. But it's all physical. That's the problem. They also have quite a squishy team again this time around. Again. <laughs> yes, again. Yes, again. They have a, again. They have a very Taraka squishy team. Taraka can help with that, but um... I'm not sure how that lane synergy is going to work with um, Soraka and Jinx. Jinx is a very you know come at you mm. sort of ADC like Draven is, but um, Soraka likes to sit back, keep the ADC topped, and just let them farm. Well, they did change her passive, so she's a little bit better at clutch healing and whatnot. Ah, fair enough. And with the rocket cost on Jinx's rocket, she's going to be able to use that constantly without having to worry about the mana cost. Yeah, I, I could think about that. When she um, swatches out Fishbone, she'll be able to um, just cure all day, pretty much. <laughs> Fishbones. <laughs> yeah. So, shout out uh. to I Eat Rice Every Day for being a boss. We'll need to see evidence of that. Fanagans is uh, saying that OG Gaming not up to snuff. We'll have to see if they can prove <laughs> him wrong. As uh, the Jungle Zed, he actually has fairly decent clear times. His ganks aren't the best until level 6, at which point his ganks become... They have the strongest CC in the game, death. They're pretty mu- yeah, they're pretty much one of the... Yeah, he, he'll <laughs> jump in. You've got no chance that's, to escape against That's Katarina's him. catch. She has no <laughs> CC except uh, for killing people. That's right, pretty much. <laughs> It's just like, what, what's, why do I need CC when you're already dead? Yeah. That's just... How, like, there's no point. You're, you're not moving, clearly. 
Why would I need CC ever? Okay, shout out to Jakey, who is uh, the best Max Slayer in Oceania. So I, I don't know how you feel about that, Mendrix. Some jungle uh, smack talk I, going on. I, would you agree no, with Jakey? <laughs> I am. Um, as much as I hate to say it, yes, I would have to agree with Jakey. Best Maca Slayer, Ross. <laughs> so I'll have to see if Maca but, has any. But don't, don't to count Maca out. Maca is one of the. He'll he'll definitely come back. Don't you worry. He's one of those guys that he's he's really willing to get his revenge. Oh, for sure. I'm looking forward to another challenge. And Fananigans is uh, telling me that. My pronunciation is off. Shout out to Maka for more swagger than Matrix. <laughs> so apparently, if he gets dug by Jakey, he turns around and throws that on you. Fair enough. I'll I'll take that. That's... I guess you did agree. So. But then again, I've got the mic right now, so <laughs> I think it's smart to try and throw it back on me. <laughs> and then again, Maka is apparently from New Zealand, and we, yes, we won't right. mention what goes on with certain woolly creatures there. <laughs> It's, um, you could say they're all family over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, finally, I'd like to, um, give a shout out to I Am Woodsy. I, um, I, in my, in my haste, I forgot him last game. So, my captain, oh, captain, my captain, shout out to you. I Am Woodsy, who is very good mid laner. His fizz is quite, quite unstoppable, I must admit. Mm. Okay, so I'm not actually sure where Talon Riven will be going. It looks like Riven will be headed top. Uh, we'll just try and fix these up. So there we go. So this is game two, guys. OG Gaming are one up, or OG Kosh, sorry. They're OG Gaming on the Cyber Gamer ladder. Representing YMCMB, we have Nooksy on the Shockblade Z. We have Sergeant Bambi on the Soraka, who has that new running animation, which looks, which looks very funny. We'll be joined by Neil1231. So actually, they switched around as well. Sergeant Bambi was the jungler last time. Mm. Neil was the support and Nooksy was the AD carry, so they've done a little bit of a switcheroo. Uh, they will have Sneaky Hookers on the Talon, no, and rounding them out will be Lerm on the Riven, as Sergeant Bambi not going to be happy with seeing that one. First Blood will go to Beast, and looking very similar to the last game, Doran's Galore on the side of OG Kush, and that was not what Soraka wanted to see heading to that bush. Again, this is just, you know, um, I'd say it's just their team um, team experience coming through, them willing to invade the other team, playing very defensive, and them capitalizing on it. Mm. But, um, yeah, so in, in the red team, in the red shorts, as we can see, we have from, what is it, OG Gaming? OG we Kush. have, oh, yes, God, Matt, these, these guys, <laughs> OG, OG Kush. We have, as the ADC, Draven, Sona Lisa, in the jungle once again, as the pool party, Lisa and Bruce Vai. Little Vane in support as Leona. In the mid lane, we have our Cassidan, and we, as you see, he's he's ready to take on that Talon. And finally, up in the top lane, the split pushing Beast. Beast! Who has uh, used his first blood money to get a couple of potions and awards, so ready to take control over Lerm here. So, mid lane, we'll have to watch this one. Talon is a known hard counter to the Cassidan. We'll have to see if that holds true for this matchup. The mid lane could be in a bit of trouble. Bruce V will be coming down. The flash is still available for Sergeant Bambi. He did not blow it in his unfortunate face check. Zenith Blade will land onto them. The laser zap goes out to disengage, and they do know that Lee Sin is around now. So they will be. Yeah, very, they're not going to fall for it this time around. Um, last game, they, they, I'm sure they would have figured out. Oh, that Lee Sin likes to level two. We we should you know watch out. As we can see, he's coming in. He's up oh, and flash out by Nuxi, been barely escaping from the. Um, yeah, he didn't have there. his shadow. He was forced to use that, or he would have been very badly off. Yeah, for definitely. Um, Lee Sin's early damage is um quite scary. But as, um, as we can see, Nuxi's coming up and being very sneaky, going to go take that red. Oh. And up okay. top, my god, that beast, beast, you're a beast. Yeah, he's uh, doing it to learn what he did to Sneaky Hookers in the previous game. Things not looking the best for the 0-1 down YMC. Looks like in this tournament, if you get behind, you will stay behind. Nooksy being very brave and stealing away Bruce V's red after the red was stolen by Bruce V. And he's actually going to get away from it, so very well done by Nooksy, who was Caitlyn in the previous game. Doing yeah, yes, he's definitely he definitely saw um, where Lee Sin was, and it was definitely a good time for him to go right. up and take that red. But as we can see coming in, we've got Lee Sin coming in on Snooky Hookers, unfortunately. Oh, the burst from Talon is quite insane. Well, he, he got the ignite off. He's going to get him. I don't well, know about very that well flash. Done. Now there's double buff on Cassidy, and of course, assist and kill 
go, uh, well, yeah, Siskold is going to add to how much is added to that. But to be fair, Sneaky Hookers couldn't really get out of that. So picking up a kill for himself, definitely going to be handy. Definitely, as a off transfer complete, and here comes Nooksy coming in right now. Oh, I don't think this was a good idea. Preston had the mini advantage, and Null Sphere looks will like... finish that off for sure. No, he's actually just going to whack him. Will the tower take him down? No, it does not. Decides to uh, take a stroll under there and pick that one up. So things not going much better for OG Game. Oh, well, th going very well for them, but not doing as well for YMC as they would have hoped, being 0 1 down in a best of three. At least the first death from um, OG Kush came earlier this time. Yes, that's very true. Down bottom there, actually, yeah, they're harassing that poor little Soraka away. There's not much they can really do against that damage, the early game damage of Draven right now. And as we can see up top, we've got Lee Sin coming in, sneaking around there, hoping he can get another hit on Lerm. But um, will they will they be able to? I think he wants to play game one against this Riven as well. Oh, well, he's going to have... Oh, the, sorry, that's uh, Lerm. Going to have his spidey senses tingling, knows that there could be a Lee Sin around. He's going to back off and do the white instead of stay in that pushed lane. Probably better off than just sticking around and getting zoned out by Rengar anyway. As Double exactly. Buff Cassidy going to be heading into the mid. Has not gone for Seekers, has opted for Tear instead. So this could be quite dangerous once Talon hits the level 6. Already getting a favourable trade there. But, uh, oh, Null Sphere... Making Nosphere. that null and void. Pretty much, yep. It, oh, fantastic pun there. I, I applaud you. <laughs> I didn't even mean that one. I just, <laughs> I, I'm just too damn funny, I guess. <laughs> As you can see down bottom, they're still um, being aggressive down there. There's not much they can do. I'm surprised Nooksy hasn't come in to try and um, pressure them out right now, but he's he's falling a little bit behind in the jungle right now. Yeah, he was waiting. Oh, sorry. Why do I have Draven as the jungler? Um... He, he was waiting down in the bottom try to try and make some plays, but he could not get it off. Sneaky Hookers does not yet have his ultimate to sneak out here. Bruce V picking up the level 4 from he the minion no flash going down. Time. Yeah, he's not able to escape from that one. Nooks, he could not help him. And again, OG Gaming looking as though they're going to take a strong early game advantage. Yeah, um... Um, basically, though, with this game, they didn't have they don't have as big as a late game advantage. Hmm. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure YCMB will have a better late game, but the question is, will they actually make it yeah, there? Yeah, they got to reach that first. And I mean, all OG have to do is, is pick up armor, and they'll be quite resilient to the damage. Like, the only magic yeah. damage they really have is Soraka. And um, unfortunately, those bananas aren't exactly the most hard-hitting magic damage out there. Or not even magic damage at all. <laughs> well, it's true indeed, but everyone characterizes her by those bananas, so I decided to full walk So. Too. That. I guess if, if that's the way we're going, they're all physical. They are all physical. You know, they, they, they're all saying, let's get physical right now, let's as you can see with their physical. team. Physical. Grandpa Cyril, will he go in, though? No. The ultimate, which is called Shadow Assault, is available for Sneaky Hookers. That seems like a little bit of a generic name. As at the bottom lane, <laughs> we can see Bruce V is down here. Sergeant Bambi taking a lot of damage just from the spinning axes. Neil going to get off a nice zap there, but they don't know that Lee Sin is here. That's the vision for the blue team. Oh no, here we go, here they're coming Center in. Blade is it. going to land there, they will lock up the, uh, oh, they're going to kill Soraka. As that was Neil a very clean kill. Forced to flash out, that was very quick and clean. Definitely a quick, um, it was pretty good by um, Neil there and um, Sergeant Bambi to deal some good damage to Draven there, but they really should have had that bush watered. Yeah. I guess it must as you can see, out. Bruce V, oh, taking that red. Okay, well Nuxi does not have to blow the flash this time, Sneaky Hook is actually waiting off to the side here. The dragon is being taken by OG Gaming. Just two oh, manning. Oh my, Bruce Vi. He, he, he knows exactly where they <laughs> went. He, just, he literally just walked around and they're thinking, where'd he go? He's here somewhere. He's somewhere. But oh, as you can see, little oh, wow, little Vane's going to be dropping very low. That was very well done by OG Gaming there to rotate that one around. But yeah, indeed. And now they're going to pick up a free dragon and be in prime position into the mid game. Yeah, they're at a 3,200 gold lead at the 8 minute mark. Beast going to get some valuable scouting information on the blue buff. Sneaky Hookers will manage to get that one. Beast is not up at the top. It he's going like to he's blow going for the it. thrill of the hunt. Going to try and jump onto Talon. And wow. that is ridiculous burst. Talon can't even get the Shadow Assault off. It's... Not that it would have mattered though. Tiamat was used to AoE down. Nuxi, can he get out in time? Doesn't even have the death mark just yet. As Lerm going to get the recall off. Will it be interrupted? No, it looks like he will manage to get that one off. And at the bot, I'm wondering if anything's going to happen now that Super Mega Death Rocket is available. 
It'd be interesting to see. Um, they were able to get uh, Sona Lisa very low before, and he's actually um, he's very he's been very dangerous. He's living large right now. Mm. So um, if you if they're able to get a few lucky hits on him, that Super Mega Death Rocket will be more than enough to get him down. Yeah, well, he does have Flash and Barrier available. Um, I was thinking this is Dota for a sec, where you can give potions to people, but of course this is a <laughs> balanced game. <laughs> <laughs> cough, cough, take that, Dota people. I, I, I got in trouble with my first Dota cast, where I was like, oh, I was doing a League cast earlier, the Superior MOBA, and I was really annoying the viewers. Lem's, Lem's getting beast very low right now, but it looks like he's about to escape, and oh. Oh, oh, flash. oh nice flash! Nice! Very well done there. Yeah, Lerm going to be very happy with that one. Has the BF sword. You normally see Ravenous Hydra on the Riven, but going to go straight for the damage. Was given some nice free farm while Beast was hunting down his mid laner. And that will definitely help them catch back up there in the mid lane. Poor Rake, not enough to clear that one out. Death, oh, Death, uh, is it Death Mark? It is indeed. As the engage is going to go on to Grandpa Cyril, will they have enough single target? Flash goes off by the Grandpa Cyril, but the explosion not nearly enough. They did blow the flash there in exchange for a couple of fairly low cooldown ultimates. No flashes were blown either. But Bruce V may pick up Nuxi here. Flash will be blown, but Bruce V going to follow with his own is the shadow enough to get out? Actually, Sneaky Hooker's going to try and flash away as the Ignite takes him lower and lower. Bruce V manages to get another snipe with the Sonic Wave. Sneaky Hooker's going to try and get out. The Shadow Assault is about 30 seconds off cooldown. Will not need it. And a 1 for 0 trade goes again Super in Super Mega Debrock in middle and... Oh, nice. Ooh, I'm going to jump nice back and, and, and watch that one. Okay. No worries. And I'm back too, and yeah, she she knew exactly where he was there when she fired that shot. Yeah, so the Death Rocket going to go out. It is a giant cork. Very well done by Neil123. He, he knew that was coming yeah. too at the very last second. He freaked like, out. No, dude. <laughs> oh, maybe that no was a bit long. <laughs> yeah, I think it was more of a no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it makes me think of, um, Cassidy reminds me of Darth Vader, and at the end of the third one, where he's like, <laughs> the, the most, uh, uninterested scream of pain ever, like, no. <laughs> but that's, well, to be fair, that's the sound box, you can't really help that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce Vi is down at the bot, there is a ward in the bush there, the blue team learning from their mistakes, but unfortunately, Sergeant Baby going to be jumped on there, beautiful solar flare lands right onto oh, Neil, wow, the nice jump forward by Bruce V, Boo, whirling death, will pick up another kill for the Draven, double going to him, and the bottom tower will definitely be falling there, I don't think Nuxi can do anything about this but one, actually Sneaky, sneaky Hookers is, is yeah, coming in. Bruce oh. Fight can't do anything about that one. Nice kill, Shadow Assault will come back in and finish that one off. Nuxi does not have death mark for a little bit. Just said Beast gonna kill Lerm up at the top. Will this bottom lane be turned around? No, it will not, even though both of the purple players' flashes are available. Grandpa Cyril is making his way down here. Ooh, so hey, he, he, he smells blood. He wants to get in there. Smells blood even though he doesn't have a nose. <laughs> oh, it's the mask. It's all about that mask. <laughs> Oh, Engage goes off by Little Vane, and... Uh, oh, actually, Deathmark! That was a very good Deathmark, but unfortunately, I don't think that would be enough. No, yeah, if, if uh, that another anticlimactic explosion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it had landed. Yeah. Uh, cool. Dragons are going to be up on another 1 minute 50, but, but at this point in time, um, OG Kushwood doesn't even really need it. Okay, so the bottom tower falling lower and lower. Only the T1 at the top has gone down, and that was very recent. So things looking a lot better for YMCB in this game, but a lot better still means very dire. As, uh, yes, definitely. You've, you've got a, a, a tier Kassadin against a hard counter. Like, I don't care what anyone says, Talon normally wrecks Kassadin. And Bruce Vi just had the presence to come in and, and take down Sneaky Hookers. There was a... He was trading back and forth, but Grandpa Cyril got the, the double buffs early on and just let him catap like uh, speed up his terrible early game to hit yeah. six and just out. And then from like, there, hmm. he, still was, he was still trading well late. It's just he um, hanged around a bit too long, and then that just helped um, helped out Kassadin even more. Okay, so 3 one, two on the cast. CS isn't the highest, but is still higher than Sneaky Hookers, who uh, Talon has a little bit of trouble because they nerfed his rake, so if he's not ahead, he, his rake Chew goes off, clear. Dragon Rage into Neil right down the bottom, and 
Looks like they would pick up another easy kill. Oh, so the Flash and the Soraka ultimate, which is called Wish, is blown. Exhaust goes off onto Bruce V. Will Bambi be able to weave his way through the minions? Stand aside, does not get the kill, but Ward jump from Bruce V will finish that one off. The bottom tower will certainly be falling here. The mid-tier one not looking the best as well. Beast going to steal away the blue buff there. Lurm going to be jumped on by Beast. Can he hop, skip, and jump his way out? He's going to try and turn it around with Blade of the Exile. Shoots the Wind Slash out much too early. Early, but uh, he could pick it up if Thrill of the Hunt was not used there. Wolf Beast managed to turn it around. He's going to get the burst off. Oh! And wow. That was <laughs> double KO. That double was KO. very well done by both members there, honestly. Yeah, it, it was a very nice turnaround by Lurton. Oh, there's been a pause. As the bottom tier, first tier tower falls. My axe must catch it. As, uh, blue team having a little bit of lag issues. So, good guy, OG Gaming, going to let that one be resolved. And... I was going to say something, but I've forgotten it. Oh, Ashen17 pointing out that if OG Gaming managed to not lose in the next four minutes, they'll be on a new new record. Oh, so Good well, for them. Good for them, indeed. <laughs> That's to make sure that they um they win the next four minutes, though. But I don't think they'll be able to, considering YMCB is doing considerably better this match. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, but things still looking very dire for uh, YMC. I think that's like the fourth time I've used that word. Damn Dota, <laughs> that's what the, the red side's called there. <laughs> the dire, is it? Uh, adding it's to, adding and to dire, your vo yeah. vocabulary there. Yeah, oh, I knew the word, but I was like, their, their, their efforts are looking grim. Mm. And now it's damn D Dota lingo. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are back into the game. And uh, I think I think he did catch that axe there. He really wanted to catch it, and I think he managed to get it in the end. Okay, good for him. Infinity Edge has been caught up. If he manages to get a crit on the spinning axe, that will be ridiculous amounts of damage. Nuxi sitting on the ward there. Sona Lisa going to throw an axe and have it bounce off. Grandpa Cyril is nearby. Doesn't have level 2 in the Rift Walk just yet. Is uh, going to get hit in the backside with a cork as Beast and Bruce V going to be heading out from... The base, as is Lerm on the ribbon. Grandpa Cyril going to return to the mid lane. So it is 4v2 at the moment down here. If they can get an engage off, that is YMC. There you go, Sneaky Hook is up, coming up. He he, he hurts. He does a considerable mm. amount of damage considering um he's behind right now. Yeah, it's well, yeah against squishy targets like a Infinity Edge Draven is going to be looking mm. pretty good. We can see Grandpa Cyril was going behind there. Sonic Wave will land in. onto Nuxi. But the chompers will be enough to wade him away there. I think he was backing off. We've got Grandpa Zero coming in from behind right now, and I think we're going to have a very exciting team fight ahead of us very soon. Okay, so Grandpa Zero, will he get the engage off? Solar Flare is available. Will it come out? There's not a good opportunity just yet. Sneaky boy goes in. Will it be enough to take down Sona Lisa? The bleeding out the behind. It is enough with the Ignite. One for one trade with the Draven going down. That will be very beneficial for YMC as if they don't lose any other objectives from it. The dragon has respawned. The bottom T2 is almost full health. It is actually full health. So if dragon is contested by YMC, they'll be fairly happy with that one. Right now, I th um, I think they're going to take it fairly quickly with Bruce Vine. Oh, it looks like they're not doing it, huh? Oh, oh that's because up top... Um, oh, because are... Nuxi's there. Yes. And, okay, Beast is and going to Nuxi use is no longer there. That one. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nuxi. <laughs> And now they have a safe dragon right now. Yeah, so that was fair enough. They wanted to remove the smite from the enemy team. Mm, definitely, and he could definitely yeah. um he could flash over and then uh, shadow back. So he could definitely um got an easy still there, a safe still in mm. fact. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the dragon going to be picked up by OG Gaming Bruce V. Very low on the CS, but is definitely making up for it in his kills and assists. Five to five. Bruce V. Oh, sorry, no, hang on. I just said that. Beast, who also starts with B, going to be completely skipping over the OGN builders, going glass cannon AD. So he'll jump into a fight, blow up anyone around him, and then blow up himself if he doesn't remove all the damage threats. <laughs> just self-implode and just take everyone with him. <laughs> Vegeta style. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> Vegeta style. Uh, let's see if he's coming through. He could definitely blow up hookers right now. That's a lot of farm for him to pick up. Wow, that is some insane um, clear time by Beast right there. He just took everything out in a couple of seconds. I missed it because I was looking in the mid for some reason. So, but uh, they, they, I can imagine. Well, you could say he imploded all of the minions <laughs> without actually imploding.
Exactly. Oh, bottom lane are going to be in a lot of trouble there. Neil, one, two, three. Nice going to get there. a nice cork off, and the chompers will mean that Bambi is going to be the focus. Grandpa Cyril going to be doing a massive amount of damage. Gets corked, but Neil not going to be able to escape that one, and it just takes the oh, the slow to the face. Two for O exchange. Dragon was picked up before as well. Twelve or oh, almost twelve thousand gold in OG Gaming's favor, and this could be the beginning of the end. Sneaky Hook is going to be pushing up here, and of course Talon is fairly good at escaping if he gets caught split pushing with the shadow assault but uh, well there is one tower gone down so that's something for them but they could end up losing two of their tier twos if they're not careful and they do beat their record Mendrix they stayed in the game a little longer are you there Mendrix okay so uh Sorry about yep. that. I um had a little issue. I needed to oh, fix up no there. No problem. I was, I was but um, now I'm back. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I was hoping we didn't have internet problems like last time. Nice dragon's rage by Bruce V there. She was up. deleted by that yeah. poor Sergeant Baby was deleted right there and then. Yeah, not much you could have done with that one. And there's, Sonic there's Wave will land, through. but Dragon's Rage, of course, is not available. Flash and Barrier both used there. Beast going to be comes. taking down Talon. Is Lerma down? Yes, he is. I don't think he even used the Wind Slash in the end. And that is a quick 3 for 0 with the split pushing Talon taken down at the top. Nooksy going to be jumped on by Leona. And Lee Sin manages to survive, but the Tier 3 at the bot will end up falling. Chomper's not going to do much to dissuade them from that in inhibitor going to be worked on as Rang are going to be pushing the top and this may be all she wrote for the uh, for, what is it today Sunday night games looks like OG Kush is going to be um, advancing to the next round and um, I'd be looking forward to verse them if we um, ever decide to uh, cross mitts yeah, so Tang and friends are, uh, the, well, Maka is, not Maka, sorry, Mendrix is the top laner for them, so we will get to see him play, guys. Hopefully he can do as well as Beast has done in both these games, done incredibly well. Sneaky Hook is going to be jumping onto Beast here, but just turns around with his lifesteal, and, uh, well, Sneaky Hookers wins in the end, but Rengar lower cooldowns than Talon while having... Right now, he's got four stacks of ferocity. He can easily jump on him, but it looks like Riven's come through. This looks like it's going to turn around very quickly. Oh, nice shadow assault, but he gets ignited, so he'll walk, fall in the end. But it was almost a nice outplay. Neil, one, two, three, going to be jumped on by a red buff Draven. Get locked up by Leona, who manages to secure the kill. Wish not going to be enough to save that one. Nuxi coming in, but can't do a lot as Bambi will. He managed to get out. Looks like he will as pause goes off once again by Sneaky Hookers. Nine assists, man. My team hates me, says Draven. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is one of those, it's very annoying when you have those games as the ADC and you're leading in assists. I yeah. must admit, I've been there before and you're just thinking, huh, I guess I'm not really the ADC this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm doing a good job of supporting. <laughs> exactly, definitely. I'll just right click everything later on and get pentakills though. It, it, it's, it's, it's fine, you, you guys can take the last hit, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so... I don't need them to scale into infinity. So OG Gaming are uh, almost certainly going to be taking this one away. Who was AD carry last game, says Sona Lisa. That was, of course, the uh, Nuxi, who was the Nuxie, Zed, yes. was the Caitlyn. And there's a lot of damage coming out from OG Gaming. There's not a lot that uh, YMC can do. I mean, they, they could stack armor, but then Kasthan's going to destroy them. But the rest just gone almost completely glass cannon. Looks like Warden's Mail will be the next pickup for Bruce V. How much is Draven packing at the moment? 3,000. That's a Phantom Dancer right there. There you go. That's, wow, that's pretty insane. And as we can see, we've got, um, uh, it's Grandpa Cyril there. He's using a Magi Soul Stealer right now. And he's got, how many stacks is he on? I, I wish I could find out. He doesn't I wish... have any yet. He must have just bought it's... it. There you go then. That's, that's, ah, uh, I really... <laughs> I love it when you get full stacks on that thing. That is, oh, oh the 20% cooldown is just mm, fantastic. So 20 times 16, is, that'd be three. Oh, hang on, that's not right. Is it, it 20? No, eight, it's 15. No, eight, it's 15 eight, so. eight, 8 AP per stack, I think. So we can uh, resume the game now. OG Gaming at a 14 and a bit thousand gold lead. Going to continue pushing up. Lerm is up at the top. Almost has the last whisper completed. Is still a couple hundred gold off of there. Draven going to be going back, spending his 2,900 gold. And Nuxi in the mid going to be counter pushing. 
Uh, with Lerm right now, he's actually quite strong. If he finishes his last Whisper, he might be able to turn a fight around if he manages to get the perfect Wind Slash in um, the perfect stun off. Yeah, have to see if the engage can come out. Grandpa Cyril has to seek his arm guard about 15 minutes later than we would have expected against the AD team, but he has done pretty well. Neil going to be jumped on here, and there's nothing he can do against that. Jinx has a lot in her kit, but a reliable escape is not among them. Chompers and even if you have a reliable escape, Kassadin's not, some, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kassadin's not someone you can run from easily or catch easily, and, and he's being a bit cheeky. Oh, right that flash from Sneaky Hook is not going to get the job done as uh, the Stealth Wars go off. Mid T2 will go down. There's only one piece of infrastructure left outside of the base and it uh, looks like it's going to be ignored. Bottom inhibitor is already down. Mid going to get worked on here. Grandpa Cyril will be waiting to go in and I'd say this is the beginning of the end here. Sona Lisa just sprinting into the fight. Not many times can a Draven sprint up to a Riven that confidently. Lerm forced to flash out, as is Sergeant Bambi, just for Little Vane advancing up. Inhibitor will get worked on. The top tier two will be taken down very quickly by Rango Knife Cat, who gets a lot of uh, attack speed from the Savagery. Catching axes going on by Sona Lisa. Inhibitor will end up falling a huge amount of super creeps will be swarming into YMC's base here and uh, I'd say either Surrender or Nexus Towers will be coming out very soon here Mendrix. I, I believe that that Nexus will be imploding fairly soon and we actually have um, Sona Lisa letting us know that he's coming for us, he's coming for Macker and friends. Oh, oh I'm sorry, taking it for and that was a fantastic will in death there. Okay, so the ultimate blade of the exile popped by Lerm there, but he's going to fall much too low to stay in the fight. Nexus is getting worked on. Second tower will As such be falls. aimed by the minions. minions. Such a baby will win. indeed fall. And minions going to be carrying OG Gaming there. Sona Lisa calling out Tang and friends as, oh, little Vane, will he fall? No. Gobbles the biscuit by oh. Super Mega Death Rocket goes and gets the big snipe off the Nexus tower. Actually, at fairly healthy... Uh, amount of HP there. Hunt, or on the hunt, goes has been, yeah, by popped, Rengar going, going to wow. instantly pop Nooksy there as uh, Jinx will also fall to Bruce V on the Lee Sin. Lerm going to be kicked away from the Nexus, going to try and waste some time, but it is not enough. Double kill goes out by Beast on the Rango Knife Cat, and Inhibitor will respawn, but of course the mid one's still down, so the Nexus is still up and available. OG Gaming taking their sweet time here. Grandpa Cyril <laughs> gonna run into the fountain and get taken down by Talon. Bruce I v. think they should they should give someone from YCMB a pentacle right now, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh. And the last game and uh Winions. 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 <laughs> Winions. <laughs> <G> Gaming. <laughs> okay, so we are oh, apparently League of Legends has stopped working. Hopefully, there's still a post-match screen. There is indeed. Thanks a lot for that, League of Legends. So, that was very well played by OG Gaming in both games. There, Mendrix, the um, YMC MB. We never got to find out what their name was. They they did a reasonable job, but they just could not keep up in the end. It was really nice to see Talon and Soraka picked up, but did not end up working out for them. Pretty much, yeah. They um they. They had the right picks, but um, unfortunately for them, they what, the experience from OG Kush just um, overpowered them. That's that's the only um, answer I have for that. And um, I I like to name my MVP for that match. I'd like to give it to Cassidy and staying up to the talent counter. Yeah, no, he did very well. I was thinking Beast on Rengar, but Rengar's kind of face mashy, and Cassidy's a little bit less face mashy. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, look, look. To be fair, Beast is a beast. Um, yeah. He can, you know, he he was ah oh, some of those. He just deleted people. It was ridiculous. He was. I mean, I was surprised he was going the um, offensive build against the Riven, but I guess you know he saw the opportunity with the first blood and probably decided to just bypass the whole, the whole shenanigans of being tanked. Yeah, and, and just and just running in them. and murdering things and hoping there's no one left to kill him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so well done, Grandpa Cyril, for picking up the MVP. Congratulations, OG Gaming, moving ahead in the Gold Coast Bronze, Silver, and Gold Tournament. Hopefully, Mendrix can put up a good showing when he goes against them. We'll just close that one there. And uh, any parting words, Mendrix, before we finish for, for the night? 
Well, uh, very well done by uh, YCMB to um, try and stand up to OG Kush. Obviously, OG Kush was um, just too overpowering in this regard. But um, it was a great game tonight, and I'm lo I look forward to facing these guys in the future. Okay, so ladies and gents, we'll be back at 6 p.m. Sydney time tomorrow night to be bringing you the semi-finals of this tournament. We will be seeing uh, OG Gaming and uh, SKT1 John Patrol. In, uh, I'm not sure who John Patrol will be going against. We'll have to find out. So, thank you for tuning in. This is Coldblood and Mendrix signing out. Have a good time, guys. See you there.